Welcome to a guide here on Parquet Fernando. We're here to get the free Range Master 338 Championship, which is a 7 to 9 class rifle. Uh, it's something you can get early on that you don't have to buy the 7mm or the 300. As you see, the Range Master here is 60,000 cash. To avoid having to spend that, or for the 7mm or the 300, we will unlock the 338 championship. As you see, we've already done this, so we'll travel back in time to go through those targets, but this shows you it is free once you do the 15 targets that we're about to do in this walkthrough, and we will get out there to do that. You will need, for soft points, rifle score of 4336, and poly is 5406, so it's not very much to get you a class nine. And we'll head to our first target. This is just behind the main outpost um, in the middle of the map right there. Just head out just behind it, facing north. You see the coordinates in the bottom right. And as you look over the rock, you'll see the target. The rock straight ahead is right in front of the tree there. Use our 22 save on ammo price on most of these. And there we go. That is number one in the books. The second one here is going to be just across the road behind the archery range. As you see here, we're looking toward the south. Just come across the road, go to the farthest target. It's right behind it. Stand in the circle. Look back toward the shooting house, and you'll see the target right on top. 114 yards. Easy chip shot for the 22. And that's target number two. Completed. Heading over to target number three, this is where you first land on the dock there. You just run right around this corner, look back toward the, the dock you started on and you'll see it kicked out right there. Another 88 or so yard shot, easy chip for the 22. Target three is completed and we'll move on to target number four here get in here we as you see we're right here in the middle of the map we're still looking just a little bit toward the south right there you can see the coordinates and you want to look at the bridge and right under the bridge you'll see it nice another little easy shot for the 22 and just like that target number four is completed Target number five will be over here on the edge of this lake. You want to get here out here on the point and then look toward the southwest corner. Looking across the lake, you need to look for that big rock over there. It's a bit of a shot. That's quite a ways out there. We'll use our 303. And we'll take that down. I meant to say the 308. But irregardless, that's a long way over there. So we'll use our 308 and take that target. And our next one is going to be right here under this building. As you stand right here, you're looking to the southwest. I mean, you're, you'll know when you get to the ring right here at this coordinate. And you just take your 22 and you take out the lower portion right below it right there just like that and the next target you're gonna be getting in when you get in the circle you want to look toward the cave over here so you're looking basically north kind of do north from this position check your coordinates if you need to or the topography of the map then look over into the cave opening and you can see that right there Nice easy shot for the 22. And we'll take that out and move on. And the next one, we're going all the way up to the north end. We're going up to the coast. And we'll be looking basically west, looking out across the water from this point at the edge of the water here. Right to the west. And you want to look over 
just halfway up the trees there. You see the, you can see it right there, straight ahead. Take that right there. And that one was with the, easily done with the 22 as well. And this one we're gonna have, we're gonna be in a cave. So you need to use this coordinate. You need to come to this point. As you can see here on the map, come around, don't fall off the cliff. And you're gonna wanna enter the cave and there'll be a rock ring inside. And there we are. You just get into the circle and then you'll look on forward. This is where you are on the map. Of course, you're in the cave. And then you look forward and then up and to the left and you'll see the target up there in the air. Right there. Another easy shot for the 22. And that one's completed as well. Just remember you gotta find your way through the cave. Now this one you're gonna be up on top of the hill. Right here looking to the east. Make sure you go up on the hill. Whenever you get there, you want to work your way up. Mountain, I guess. Looking toward the east, you'll see on the other mountain over there, we'll see off to the side, we'll need to have our 308 again. You can see it just sticking out and hanging down. When we get that Argus scope on it, you'll be able to see it a little bit better. Let's see if we can hit that from here. There we go. And that one's done. That one's way out there. <laughs> so there's a few uses for the 308. And now we're going to be looking just off from this little lake here. We want to be looking just southwest from here. Check these coordinates in this area. And we'll be looking over at the top of this mountain and you'll see that one tree at the end right there and the targets right in front of that tree nice little backdrop for it take the 308 out again and put her dead on the money yeah just like that and we'll move on to the next one And this one's a little bit, can be tough to find. Just got to looking southwest from the, from where the, uh, when you get into the circle here. And you've got to look just through the trees right there. Right there. Look straight ahead, right to the right of that tree. So you're looking under that branch, that forked branch. It's almost in a bush. But once you find it, it's an easy chip shot, so won't be that much of a problem. And up here on the hill again, or another hill, getting up here high. This one's not too bad. You can tell where the bridge is, and you just look above on, on top of the bridge, and you'll take the target out with the 308 again or whatever caliber of choice that you want for long range and there we go another long one out there so most of them's done with the 22 you get a few with a better caliber it will be a little easier this one can be a little bit tricky every now and then once you get in here you want to be looking to the southeast Checking these coordinates right here on your map. Look to the southeast over those rocks. And just above that smaller tree, you'll see the big tree, then the smaller tree. And just above its branch, you'll see the target right there. And if you squat, it covers it, so you need to be standing. It's almost in that bush really tight. And there we go. A little bit, 
a little bit out there further for that 22, but it's easily doable. And for our last and final target, number 15, you head into here. You're looking to the southwest, but it's obvious when you get here, after you check these coordinates, get your bearings, you're gonna be looking up the hill anyway. So you look up the hill and you'll see the target plain as day up there. Nice little chip shot for the 22. And this will complete your challenge. There it is in the top left. Challenge circles is completed. And you don't need anything to start it. You just need to start shooting the targets. So let's head back to the lodge and see what we get. And that 15 targets done. Didn't take any time at all. And that should unlock our Range Master Championship, which will be free now. And we can just grab that really quick. And there it is. We will take this with us. And again, that's a great way to start. If you have Parquet, the DLC Parquet Fernando, all you gotta do is these 15 targets and you can start out with a um, seven class seven to nine weapon. And you don't have to buy the seven millimeter or the 300 until you want to, but it'll save you a lot of money. And it didn't take very much time if you have Parquet Fernando. I hope this video was helpful for you and that you were able to get through these targets and get this free skin for the Range Master 338, the championship. And thank you for watching.